Hello and welcome to this breakdown of Squid Game. Since this show has been released, I've seen a lot of theories on what the true hidden meaning about it could be. Everything from people saying that it's about capitalism and what people are willing to do for the almighty dollar, or in this case, Korean won. Or I've also seen people even say that it's about the Illuminati, the VIPs representing the elites who watch us struggle for their own sick pleasure. However, I think that there is an even deeper meaning hidden that's even clearer and I can show it to you today. First of all, at the very beginning of the story, when we're first introduced to Squid Game, Gi Hoon thinks that the guy with the Dokji cards that wants to play the game where he gets slapped and gets some money, he says to him, I don't believe in Jesus. Yes, I Then, at the end of the Squid Game, when he's released and he's got the debit card in his mouth, the first person he sees is a real evangelical who's carrying a cross and puts it down next to him. Next, as Squid Game is introduced to us, we see that all the participants have debt, financial debt. This could be seen as their original sin. Ilnam has number one in Squid Game, and Gihoon has number 456, which happens to be the last number in Squid Game. So Ilnam represents the first, and Gihoon represents the last. But we could also call this the Alpha. Alpha is another way of saying first, and Omega is another way of saying last. Who is the Alpha and the Omega in the Bible? It's God. So could these two characters have something to do with different aspects of God? Later, Ilnam says to Gihun, you are just like my son. And he says his son's birthday is coming up soon. And he says, what day is it? Today, is it the 24th? Whose birthday is really close to the 24th? Well, the 25th is Christmas day. Could Ilnam represent the God of the Old Testament and Gihun represent Christ? Or someone who is just like Christ? It may seem far-fetched, but let's look at Gihun's actions. At the end of the game, Gihun almost kills Cho Song Wu, but then Sebyeok tells him, don't do it, you're not like that. And Gihun forgives Cho Song Wu, someone who seems to be unforgivable. I believe here Sebyeok was demonstrating the forgiveness of Christ, and also Gihun picked up that forgiveness of Christ as well. Furthermore, Ji Young and her sacrifice also may have influenced Sebyeok to have this new spirit. After this, in the final game, Gihun refuses to win Squid Game because it would result in Cho Song Wu dying. It says in the Bible that the meek will inherit the earth. After this, Cho Song Wu kills himself and Gi Hoon wins Squid Game by default. He was meek, but he still inherited the big prize. A year goes by and Gi Hoon is more Christ like than ever, not just in the fact that he's not spending all of his money that he has, but also that he has grown a beard and he just kind of looks like Jesus or a picture of what we imagine Jesus to be like. But then he gets this card. And if you have any doubts about anything I'm saying, I think that this should clear it up right here. Ilnam sends him a card that says, meet me at the seventh floor, the number of God, of the sky building, sky, like heaven, at 1130 on Christmas Eve, December 24th. When he arrives at that building, we see that there's a homeless man outside and they make a bet about the homeless man. Gihun thinks that people are essentially good and someone will help him. And Ilnam thinks that people are essentially bad and no one will help him. Well, at exactly 12 o'clock midnight, the start of Christmas, someone helps this man outside. I think that this represents people, more people in the world, not just Ji Young, not just Sebyeok, not just Gihun, but other people picking up this Christ's like spirit. In the Bible, Jesus said that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. 
We could see the law in this case as being Ilnam's rule. The way that he rules the games is that everyone must follow the law. It also says in the Bible that the wages of sin is death. If someone breaks the rules, they will be killed. However, Jesus says that he came to earth so that we could have hearts of flesh instead of hearts of stone. Is it possible that in the end of this story, Ilnam dies because he's representing that the law has been fulfilled because people have picked up this Christ-like spirit? Could this be saying that instead of looking at the evils of the world and saying like, I blame all the evils on capitalism or the elites and so on, that actually what we should do is look within our own hearts, live with a Christ-like consciousness, think to ourselves, what would Jesus do? And if we live like that, maybe that will be enough to change the world as Jesus intended. If you thought that this breakdown was interesting today, please leave a comment down below. It's good for the algorithm and it'll share this message with more people. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.